In the Pacific Atoll nation of Tuvalu, communities live right on the doorstep of an ever-changing ocean, at serious risk from cyclones, rising sea levels, and storm surges. In order to put effective adaptation methods into action, the Tuvaluan government requires accurate mapping of their surrounding coastline and near-shore areas. 2015, the TC panel, which um, devastated our coastal uh, frontier and, and had a uh, huge storm surge uh, washing ashore and, and damaging a lot of infrastructure, buildings and our crop uh, plantations. So if we don't understand the problem to begin with, it's very hard to come up with the correct answers on how to fix it. The Tuvalu Coastal Adaptation Project, TCAP, is working to develop innovative coastal protection solutions. TCAP partnered with Fugro, who used their airborne LiDAR technology to provide accurate coastal data to the team in Tuvalu. LiDAR is an acronym and it means Light Detection and Ranging. And simply put, uh, a LiDAR system is a laser that is usually mounted on a, on a plane. This is a Fugro and Airborne LiDAR bathymetric system um, that we use to collect the data over Tuvalu. The system fires laser pulses from the aircraft to the water and through the water column until they are reflected off the seabed or the coastal area being mapped. The system is able to model very accurately the shape of the island. It's like scanning the island from the plane. Fugro's Airborne LiDAR bathymetric systems are the safest and most efficient survey systems in shallow and complex environmental zones. Tuvalu is one of the few countries where we've collected this data and we can understand the relationship between sea level rise and land elevation on any island, in any village, in any location. Which means we can provide the information Tuvaluans need to, to adapt. In just two weeks, the survey aircraft covered all of the land, reefs and lagoons across all nine atolls of Tuvalu. The survey also captured aerial photographs and when combined with the LiDAR data, provided a powerful three-dimensional tool to support adaptation planning. This baseline data will help to develop a greater understanding of sea level rise and shoreline change in order to plan a range of adaptation and resilient measures in Tuvalu. Here on Fuda Fudi, we are undertaking a seven hectare reclamation, which should provide dry land uh, under all tides up until 2100. The project would not be where it is without the LiDAR data. Thanks to accurate baseline data, TCAP can now support long-term adaptation solutions for Tuvalu. The use of LiDAR could soon transform the design of coastal protection solutions for other atoll nations in the Pacific. When we ask to work with best available data for a particular island, most often what it means is relying on baseline data that were collected 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Your ability to address climate change is really dependent on a very accurate understanding of changes that occur in the island over time and over space. Good baseline data tells us all those things and so it allows us to position infrastructure in a way that it's the most resilient it can be. That, that is huge savings because coming back and fixing those things afterwards is, is very expensive and very problematic. Should TCAP be successful, it will prove a viable adaptation option for low-lying Pacific Island states. So it is our uh, hope and expectation uh, that uh, the TCAP project would provide us uh, with a permanent methodology to prevent our foreshores from being eroded and our land being uh, taken away.